nice. Nice. Ooh, he's a head shaker. <laughs> Roger Cormier from Midwest Outdoors. Doing one of my favorite things for walleye's life, bait rigging. Popular technique, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Way I rig up for these fish. Fishing some early summer walleyes. They're just getting into their summer feeding pattern. And I'm using a long snell, nice walleye to start us out here. Spitting up some minnows there. And the net. Man, that was fun. And I'm gonna tell you exa exactly how I'm rigging up for these fish and what kind of rod I'm using and the line. Good start, beauty. Live bait rigs, one of the simplest and easiest ways to put summer walleyes in your boat. We got a bug hatch going on and these walleyes are biting really light today in these calm conditions. Marking some good ones on the hummingbird, just holding right on the upper edge of the flat. But I'm just using six pound suffix advanced mono from my main line and a six pound advanced mono leader and a long leader, like seven to nine feet. I've played with even 10 feet. We got super clear water. So these finesse tactics, that long leader, light line, being quiet in the boat and just creeping along is what's putting fish in the boat. Beautiful. See my little chartreuse bead. Come here, you. And that's why we use that long net handle too because of the long leaders. It's a lot easier to net those fish that way. You can see when they do decide to eat it, the hook's right in the top of his mouth. And here's the way we get those hooks out with a hemostat. And you just pinch the, hem the hook with the hemostat and you just twist and it pops right out. No blood, I'm not ripping the hook out that way. Always have a pair of these in the boat when you're live bait rigging. Beautiful walleye, another nice one. Cool. On the business end, the number six or number eight octopus hook. If I'm using leeches, I like a chartreuse bead. And if I'm using night crawlers, I like a red bead. From the hook, I've got a seven foot suffix advanced mono leader, six pound test, and a little ant swivel in line. Then my main line, I put a slip knot and a little bead for a cushion, and then I like those little dipsy sinkers. They're clip-on, so if the weather conditions change and it gets windier, I can just switch to a heavier or a lighter sinker. And the beauty of this is called the roach rig, is you can adjust your snell. I've got that seven-foot snell up to that swivel. Now I can add three or four feet just by sliding that slip knot all the way up the line and stopping my sinker there. Now I've got about a 10-foot leader, a nine-foot leader. It's a lot more easy to manage your tackle when you've got that snell a little bit shorter, but then you can lengthen it when you're ready to fish. And then if one of your uh, fishing companions is using a longer leader and catching more fish that way, you can really quickly adjust to a longer leader. Sometimes we'll go 10 or even 12 foot leaders when these walleyes are super finicky like they are today. Man, light bite. Never even marked him. Oh my goodness. I like these St. Croix Legend Elites. This is a 7.6 medium power, fast action, but a little bit longer rod. It helps you to lift up those long leaders to net the fish. But it also picks up your slack real nice when you do set the hook on him. Man, he's right under the boat. I'm gonna come back here. No, oh, another nice one. Boy, he fought like he was bigger than that, but he's a feisty. Thumping, cool. Well, that is fun. And again, just a super light bite. I mean, like almost imperceptible, but they are eating it good. Another nice one. Well, he's not as big as the last fish, but he sure fought like a big one. Oh, go. Just ripped the rod out of my hand. Boy, I popped my sinker off on the hook set too. How about that? 
Wow. Nice. <laughs> that is awesome. That is what it's all about right there. Great way to end her. Oh man, what a tank. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Such light tackle, six pound test line. Oh, and the hook just in the corner of the mouth. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely awesome way to end it right there. And that's what live bait tactics can do for you on a lake near you for summertime walleyes. Look at that beauty go back, 28 incher. Awesome, super fun day today. Hope you enjoyed the segment as much as I did. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.